it's just not right. Tonight, the Cerebral Palsy Center's residential program closed its doors for good. It is one of just 13 licensed boarding homes in the state for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. 10 News reporter Grace King explains what happened. Christopher has really enjoyed this place because he was independent. He has his own things. He does his own thing. For Doris Hager's son Christopher, the Cerebral Palsy Center is home. It was a wonderful place when he first moved in. He's lived here since 1995, until now. It's not a program that's been financially viable for a while. We've tried to figure out ways to make that work, but without full occupancy, it doesn't work well. Executive Director Angela Jones told families a month ago that the boarding home would permanently close on September 15th. Then the timeline moved up. We've had staff who've taken jobs other places who just said, I'm not coming back because they knew it was winding down. Um, so without 24 seven staff, we can't be open. She says she understands why the families are upset. I think we're all frustrated with it and I wish I had better answers. Jones says everyone has a temporary place to go, but finding permanent housing could be difficult. It depends on what people need. If they need a roll in shower, that may absolutely take a little longer to find. For now, Doris Hager is taking her son home. She wishes the situation were different. You can't expect them to do something in 30 days, much less 24 hours. They're still working on it. So I will take Chris home. I don't have the accommodations because of my situation at the house, but he has a couch to sleep on. It's just not right. That was Grace King reporting. We will continue to follow this story as information becomes available. You can get updates in the palm of your hand by downloading the 10 News app.